I just wanted to make a quick demo to show what the script does. In the first part of this series, I made a really simple script that ran on a Raspberry Pi and would open and close the garage door. It's basically the exact same thing as someone pressing a button on, on the remote. So if I run that code up here in the Raspberry Pi, the garage door starts opening. If I run it again, it'll stop it, and I run it a third time, it'll close it. So the purpose of the second script is to actually give feedback to the user on the state of the door. On the left here is a live feed of my garage from the camera that we're using for the script. And once I start the script up, it'll just loop through and tell us the state of the door that it detects. There may be an error that'll pop up here in a second. That's not related to the script. It has to do with the library that OpenCV is using. It's not a huge deal because we're just using this for demo purposes or troubleshooting purposes uh, to read the data in standard out. So it's cooperating right now, but I'm sure it'll pop up. I'm going to run the code again on the Raspberry Pi to open and close the garage door. And as soon as it can't detect both shapes, we see that the state changed to open. I'm going to let it open up all the way. And now I'm going to run it again, start closing the door. It still says open because it can't see both. And once it sees this triangle, which is about to fall off, it looks like, it's determining that the door is closed. One last thing I wanted to show was that the script can optionally output the image, uh, the overlay of what it detected on the image. That is an option in the configuration file. If this is set to true and you have a valid output directory, it'll write this image. Um, and what this image looks like, we'll load it up here. This looks like this. So this is what OpenCV is actually looking at. Um, and, and this is part of our threshold detection too. If this wasn't uh, a tight rectangle like this, if this shape was over on this side, that would exceed our horizontal alignment threshold. And that would tell us that we probably haven't found both of the objects or all of the objects that we were looking for.